class. In previous class, you have learned some important results without proof. First one related to area and perimeter. We have done. You know how to solve the problem if area and perimeter problems given means. So now we are going to solve altitudes. First altitudes. Next one if two triangles have same base. Then third one right angle triangle. So better we can start from right angle triangle. Okay, let me say that. First 
custom and in a is equal to here i need b and i need b equal to i need a equal to 90 degree and c is 90 degree okay so if you write like this this would be ca means triangle ca b so let do this one here i need c is common i have written at the first so here also i should write at first triangle c okay the next one is Second one, I need A is equal to 90 degree. Here I need B is equal to 90 degree. So C D. So the last one is A. Okay. So triangle C D A similar to triangle C A B. If we write the A B C means A B C. What I have changed here? First A, next one is B, last one is C. So here also triangle. B A C B A C similar to triangle A B C. This one, how can we write? Triangle A B C similar to triangle uh, first A. So here. B. Next one B. B B. So triangle A B C is similar to triangle B B A. You can take this as one. This one is two. So from one and two, here A B C triangle A B C similar to triangle B A C. Here also triangle A B C similar to triangle B B A. Therefore, these two triangles are similar to each other. Hence, triangle BAC similar to triangle BBA. Okay, so let us uh, pattern is very important. If you write BAC means it should be right like this only. If you write uh, ABC means it will be changed uh, according to this letters. Okay, the pattern is important. Next step, altitude. The result is related to altitude. What is altitude? Altitude is a height, perpendicular height. Here, if you say AD is the altitude means from one vertex to the opposite side. Altitude is a straight line segment. It is perpendicular to the opposite side. It starts from one vertex. Okay. If A to B C, that altitude means A B, and B to A C, that is. B E and C to A B that is C F. Is it? Here this altitude A B is perpendicular to B C. Like I have drawn here. If two triangles A B C are similar to triangle P Q R, okay. So the ratio of their corresponding sides is equal to ratio of their corresponding altitudes. So corresponding altitude, how do we find that? You know, we can A B corresponds to P Q. Like that, this A B corresponds to P S. And B E corresponds to Q T, and the C F corresponds to R U. Okay, that's all. So the ratio of their corresponding sides. First A B by B Q is equal to B C by Q R is equal to A C by P R is equal to corresponding altitudes. So first one A B corresponds to this P S. Next one is B E corresponds to Q T. Next one C F corresponds to R U. Okay, so if two triangles are similar, the area of uh, ratio of their corresponding sides, ratio of their corresponding sides is equal to ratio of their corresponding altitude. Two triangles have common vertex, okay, and uh, their bases are on the same straight line. Listen, A B C is the triangle. If a perpendicular drawn, that is from the vertex B, okay. So here B D is the altitude. We can say that, and it divides into two triangles. Two triangles namely A B B and uh, B D A. That two triangles area, but the ratio of 
area of the two triangles is equal to ratio between length of their bases. Ratio between length of their bases. Listen, the two triangles BDC and the ABD have same uh, bases or on the same straight line. Okay, this AD and the, this uh, CD are on the same straight line. As well as this B is the common vertex. B is the common vertex. B, D, C, and B, D, K. This B and B are the common vertex. So we can say area of the triangle A, B, D by area of triangle B, D, C equal to ratio between length of the air bases. So first I have written A, B, D. So A, D is the base length and next one is B, D, C is length of base length is equal to C, D. This is the last result. If two triangles have common vertex and their bases are on the same straight line means area of the ratio of the area of the triangles is equal to ratio between the air base length. Students, uh, we have seen there are five important results without proof and I have given, uh, I have solved uh, two problems related to the area of the perimeter. Then remaining three uh, important results are there. So we will solve the problem related to that. Uh, they may ask in uh, creative questions. Okay, so it helps us to solve that uh, creative questions. So learn properly in textbook uh, page number. 160, page number 160. Uh, these five results are given clearly. So, after watching this video, you go through once again uh, from 1 to 5. Okay. So, if you go through again, means you can get more idea about these five results and you can solve the problems without any difficulties.